We have a panel that I'm sure everyone is concerned with, not just entrepreneurs. We're going to be asking the question, is that work-life balance possible in the world of entrepreneurship? And we have some knowledgeable people on the subject, and hopefully they can give us all some tips on what we should do. Um, so I'm going to introduce you guys to our moderator, Ms. Reem Gamil. Uh, Mr. Karim Sohi from Connecti, he's going to be one of the panelists. Ms. Dinan Mufti from Injez, and Nisma and Yusuf from Al Wafiyat. Let's get started. I'll give the mic over to Reem. Nisma and Yusuf, you co founded uh, Wafiyat, correct? That's correct. And you're getting married in two weeks. In five days, actually. <laughs> five. <laughs> so, when does work uh, stop and life starts? <laughs> I don't think there's a line. <laughs> so, for example, yesterday I was meeting my tailor here in Rise Up to take uh, the measurements for my shirt here. for the wedding. Yeah, because there isn't any other time. And this is when you have to multitask to really know how to deal with everything at the same time. So I can't miss Rise Up and I can't miss my wedding, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's very hard to deal with, but I think the general rule is there is no line between work and life when you're an entrepreneur. Um, it's, it's your life and you have to I mean balancing your relationship and your job. Well, it's, it's not an easy task, of course, but it, uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages. So when we have problems in work, the personal relationship helps us deal with it and go through it. And when we have problems in, uh, in a personal life, the work life, having to deal with, uh, with each other in the work life helps us deal with it. So, and like b break the ice and everything. So sometimes it's a good thing. And of course, sometimes it's very hard to draw the line and you come with some negative energy because of something that happened at home, but it's, uh, it's the nature of what we do. And I think it's even harder for, the, for Omar, our co-founder and uh, our employees for them to deal with something like that. So we're very blessed to have them on board. <laughs> So Karim might have uh, some advice because he has been working with his wife for 11 years now. And you co-founded several, uh, several companies together. Yeah. To keep your eggs in the, the same basket, I guess, sometimes. So the advice to entrepreneurs yes. trying to... I completely agree with everything you said. Uh, my advice to entrepreneurs would probably to go find the VCs out there or opportunities to sell your stuff out there. I think... Uh, more important than maybe what we're trying to talk about. It is important, but I think uh, the point you're making about the lines being very blurred is very, very true. Um, I don't know if you can quite balance it and say, this is my work part and this is my life part if you're doing the kind of thing uh, you know, that I think you guys are trying to do, right? It, it's it's all-consuming. It takes all of your time, all of your mental energy and in a lot of cases you tr you try to make the best out of it and you know there are a couple of like hack tricks you can do uh we talked a little bit about you know we have to travel a lot so you know we'll we'll bring our spouse with and take a couple of days uh stuff like that there are a couple of hacks to that but end of the day the reality is it's 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 you know really hard and you got to take the punches the good times are really really good uh the bad times are I think harder than any other kind of industry. Maybe stock brokerage aside, and tourism, and a lot of other industries in Egypt these days. <laughs> but you guys get the point. What about you, Yusuf? Uh, do you have any tricks or uh, hobbies, even obsessions? <laughs> well, I'm not the best person to give advice on something like that. Well, I have a hard time like having a personal life outside the work. But what I try to do is uh, I schedule like certain events that I do with my friends, like certain sports that we play. I play squash every Tuesday, and I try and play football every Sunday. So it's uh, so like something that I have fixed in my schedule every week. And that helps me not forget to have a healthy life and a personal life outside of work. And so I think like everyone has to know that if you leave it up to you when you're free, you'll never be free. So you have to put it in your schedule and have Really do that. It's okay. I've been passing this thing around for an hour now. Okay, and Nisma? 
I think I totally agree with them. You never draw the line. There is no line, actually. I think uh, you have to enjoy what you're doing. You have to enjoy working. You have to like what you're doing. And you have to have people around you that, that understand what you're doing and what it takes to be an entrepreneur and not have a five to nine job, a nine to five job. Um, it's not easy, but it's what you, cho you chose to do, so this is what you like. So but there you is no that. can separate your relationship uh, from, being, uh, get, from getting married and uh, all of the preparation. I don't think our relationship and gets in the way of work, but, um, but there is no line for us. I mean, he's with me all the time, so I can't be thinking yeah. of work and talking about the weather. It's, it's not like that. You talk about work all the time, and you don't talk about life a lot of in the office, but this is how we do it. I think it's harder than any normal entrepreneur, but it makes it easier sometimes. I would, okay, so if we fast forward you guys' lives, maybe like 10 years or so, we'd end up with you. me, right? <laughs> um, for, like, I've had high blood pressure since I was 34, like literally on medication, so I'm not the greatest. <laughs> uh, example here but I do um, I found my first company with my wife we've been working um, almost every company since uh, together it's a really interesting dynamic um, I think if you look at the whole we were much better off doing that because the stress isn't going away it's not like I'm gonna come home and like you know turn the button off and go into life mode and like everything's dandy right <laughs> so having somebody that understands literally every single thing where it's not just I understand that you're stressed it's I understand that you are stressed because stripe is blocking uh, Dubai right like you understand like the intimate part of it I think holistically that was very very beneficial like I, I yeah I, uh, Zuhairi works with us in the office he watches how me and my wife work together maybe I can ask him if it's if it's uh, healthy or not <laughs> Dina, you've been very successful uh, establishing yeah. Inges. Uh, how you juggle all these balls in the air, uh, being a super mom and being uh, an entrepreneur and all of that? Well, first off, I want to ask the audience, how many of you have kids? Who's a working mom? I salute you. <laughs> so any working mom would really understand what goes into juggling between your work and juggling between your family and your kids and for everyone to be happy so there isn't a work-life balance it's more like a work-life juggle so you're continuously juggling here a bit and and then and then you you give some time here and then you feel guilty and then you you go to the other side so it's a continuous really ju managing juggle and guilt continuously um, but really, uh, uh, what helped with me is that I had an amazing support system. That's very important to any uh, working mother. So um, having a great partner at work, we balance things a lot off of each other. Um, a very uh, hands-on, uh, so my husband's very hands-on with the kids, very supportive. My mom's been very supportive with the kids as well. So of course, these kinds of dynamics always, always are very helpful. And the other thing is, so I have three kids, and I have an organization who's like my fourth kid. So, so uh, when I first started it, I was maybe uh, in my early 20s, like 23, and I was about to have my first, first child. So imagine someone who's pregnant, starting up an organization, and about to start a new family. It was uh, sheer madness, and especially in our line of work, so NJEZ is an educational organization and we work at schools and universities and so obviously we have to get government permits and deal with bureaucracies and so government officials would never understand me. Like someone uh, this young, okay, who's your boss? We wanna speak to your boss. Who are you? <laughs> you know, like a, like a little kid <laughs> or something. And so, so that was always a, a challenge and so barriers you have to overcome. Uh, at the time, like being a young, a young, being a mom, starting up an organization, all of that, it was it's just one big juggle. But I survived. <laughs> <laughs> What's your definition of having it all? Do you even, um, is it your ambition? Yeah, so I, I'm sure we, we all love that, you know, that dream of having it all. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so it's up there as a dream, and of course, uh, you, you're continuously like pushing yourself, whatever goal or whatever ambition it is you have. It's it's persevering, persevering and loving what you do, because when you love what you do, it won't be as if you're working a day in your life, because you're you're loving what you're doing and you're doing it with such passion. Like I said, uh, how our, my organization, I view it as my baby. We've been growing it up through the past 12 years till it's a well-established institution now. So whatever it is you're doing in life, um, uh, whatever you choose as your career, uh, think of it not as a career, but as your mission. So to anything, it has to be like a bigger picture, something that really drives you, something that motivates you, something that gives you a bigger purpose in life. And, and really, that's the bottom line that will get you anything. So with working crazy hours, how do you, uh, how do you encourage your team to balance their life? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, uh, that's definitely a, a tough one. So, so everybody has these kinds of issues, but at the same time, uh, you know, we'll also, um, we'll also be able to encourage like a work-life balance by some days working from home and so on. And so having a very dynamic team where it's not just your baby, it's theirs too. So our team, all of them are very passionate about education and very passionate about what they do. And that really makes a difference. It's not like you're carrying all the load. It's, it's divided among your entire team because we all equally share the passion and share the load. Kareem, uh, do you have any advice for Yusuf? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Actually, you're doing things really, really well. Like, it's commendable. The fact that, you, it's interesting that you guys managed to get this far. Like, I think the hard part is behind you. You have a third founder, and then like all of a sudden, like, you know, like I've been in that situation where I was on the other side. It's kind of strange, but so I think the harder part is behind you and you guys, you know, well done. I, 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 I salute you guys. Not a lot of people would do that. Thank you. Okay, so I think we're done here. Any questions from the audience? Zuhiri, you have a question. Hello? Okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, if, uh, like, you're spending 24-7 uh, together and you're mostly work talking about work, aren't you getting a bit bored from each other, you know, 24-7 <laughs> together? <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to? <laughs> Actually, like Yusuf said, we sometimes take time off. Like, he, he has schedules of stuff to do with his friends and I have stuff to do with my friends. Sometimes we need a break because we work together. We, uh, we're, I mean, he's with me all the time. So we talk about work a lot, yeah, but I think we, we still balance. <laughs> I think, strangely, we get used to spending so much time together that it's weird when someone like travels away or something. I know this is a bit cheesy, but <laughs> it's really true. Like, you get used to that person being in there in your life, talking to that person in your personal life and work life. So. It's something that you do, it's like part of yourself. Yeah. Any more questions? All right, well, go find the investors and the people that are going to buy your product <laughs> and quit worrying about work life balance too much. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.